Hello everyone, my name is Neera Sattel and today here I want to talk to you about some of the personal experience and the experience I gained in this institute to get my desired score. This is my score report with an overall score of 90 and first of all I'd like to thank Dr. Roman and the entire team of Roman PT Melbourne who helped me a lot and guided me throughout my examination up until to the date of my test. So I just want to share some information regarding some of the basic things that people are struggling with in PT examination. The first thing is grammar. See grammar in PT is not that complicated. Uh, if you're good in grammar from a school level and college's level, it will be more than sufficient in PT examination. But still, if you want to do some more exercises and gain some more tips regarding how to improve your grammar and all those things, you can always visit the website of this institute. I also did the same thing and it helped me a lot in improving my grammatical accuracy as well. The next thing that I would like to talk about is vocabulary. In PT examination, you don't have to use so many complicated and sophisticated words if you want to gain points in vocabulary. For instance, instead of saying just thrown, if you say disposed, you'll get good score in PT examination itself. You don't have to go for a very complicated and sophisticated word. If you still want to improve your vocabulary, what you can do is you can read anything that comes in your phone, any book when you're traveling by a bus or by a train. And if you come across such a word that you find is difficult for you, you can look it up, you can Google it, you can write down its meaning. And if it's possible, you can also use that in a sentence so that you'll remember it for the next time. Regarding speaking, I think PT exams, especially in case of speaking, it is all about trying to avoid mistakes instead of trying to do everything right. See, in speaking, you just have to avoid three basic mistakes to get a good score. These mistakes are hesitations, repetitions and corrections. Hesitations, it's a uh, long pauses where you do not need it. So you need to avoid that repetition, repeating anything or everything you've just said, even if it's just a word will decrease your score substantially. And the next one is correction. So it doesn't matter what you've said, you just go on through your reading text and do not correct yourself. Corrections decreases your marks a lot. In case of reading, what you have to do is you'll have to read any magazines, like I've said, any things that comes up to your phone and any book and it not only improves your reading speed, you also get familiar with a lot of words and you can use it properly and whenever you are giving your PT test examination itself, it will be very useful for you. And you'll also have to keep in mind that grammatical accuracy and especially the collocations, they are very important in terms of reading. And one more thing that I'd like to add in terms of speaking that I forgot to tell about earlier is that whatever you do, whatever you speak when you're practicing, you'll have to record it. If you record it and listen to it over and over again, what happens is that you'll find out your own mistakes. And when you know what you are weak in, you can correct yourself, whether it is pronunciation or whether it is fluency, which are very important to get a good score in case of PT examination. In terms of writing, writing most students, even my fellow students, when I was studying in this particular institute, they found writing a little bit easy because especially in terms of essay, there is a pre different format that you can use in writing the essay itself and that will be very useful for you. So you don't have to worry much about writing. In case of somebody writing, if you are struggling with vocabulary itself, you can use the words from the text. If you can paraphrase it, it will certainly be better for you. Listening. Listening itself is affected by other sections in PT examination itself, so you have to be very careful in listening. Although it sounds easy, since it is affected by the other sections, your scores might be a little bit low than you expect. So you have to be careful in other sections such as repeat sentence and uh, the other things that you can get in uh, the other sections of a PD examination. So you'll have to be careful on those things too. And whenever you are doing some task, you'll have to find out the key information that the speaker is trying to say, especially in terms of listening. So do not pay attention to each and every information that is provided to you through your microphone. Try to search for the key information. For instance, if it's an experiment, so you'll have to find out why the experiment was conducted, what was the result of the experiment, and why it was conducted. All those things you'll have to find out and you'll have to summarize it. So these are just the basic informations that uh, might be helpful for you in your PT examination because it certainly helped me and the 
guidance the instructor instructor that you get in roman pt melbourne it's very helpful because first you see i thought that i would i could prepare for the pt examination myself but when i found it a little bit difficult as i was preparing for my examination i consulted dr roman and it was very helpful initially i never thought that i would get an overall score of 90 as i consulted with uh, dr roman he helped me a lot in all the weaknesses he corrected it and then i built my confidence so whatever you get in this particular institution is very professional so if you are looking for a professional guidance regarding improving your score and getting your desired score i think this is the best place to do so thank you very much